Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision Classes. It's classes for IA and GCSE student. So today we have a student across more than five countries. Today we'll go through the forces and turning effect. And after that, we'll discuss the one question from past year paper based on the forces and turning effect. So moment is a turning effect of forces. So here moment is nothing but turning effect. Here at this place, actually this spanner is rotating and this person is applying the force here right and this is nothing but turning effect so moment occurs when the forces cause object to rotate about the some pure point and here it is pure point getting it so this point is nothing but just a moment fine right? now in this uh, example of crane here if you see here this is part where this whole crane supports okay horizontal part then here this is downward weight and weight actually is supported with the help of this backward weight weight actually supports the whole system balance this whole system and here it is it's a pure point now size of this actually moment depend upon two things firstly size of forces and the distance between the force and the pure means we have to take actually distance from this pure point here it is pure point so all the distances we have to measure from this point uh yes this is the moment so here the moment of force is nothing but force times perpendicular distance from the pure point as we discussed earlier here it is pure point in the train part right and you have to take the perpendicular distance so here it's a waste is supported and at this end also weight is supported and at the pure point this whole crane balanced how we have to take the perpendicular distance from the pure point and movement have a unit newton centimeter or newton meter so depending upon whether distance is measured in a meter or centimeter generally the force is in newton and distance is on either meter or centimeter so unit of movement is newton meter getting it so this is uh, in the case of this wheel here this is pure point and this will be the perpendicular distance where this person applying force getting it this is perpendicular force now we will just uh, discuss theoretical part of it principle of a moment next part so for the system to be balanced, uh, sum of clockwise moment must be equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment. So sum of all the clockwise moment, clockwise moment means force time perpendicular distance, all the force times perpendicular distance is equal to all the forces at anti-clockwise okay so so here it is it's a pivot or f1 is there f2 is there f3 is there so we will take a moment at an anti-clockwise is equal to moment at a clockwise in the anti means lhs is equal to rhs moment at anti-clockwise is equal to moment at clockwise right okay so principle of moment says that all some of all the clockwise moment must be equal to some of all the anti-clockwise moment right now the force f1 is moving downward means it is it is anti-clockwise then moment f2 is moving downward at a right hand side means it's a clockwise f3 is moving upward means it is anti-clockwise right moment at anti-clockwise here f1 d1 plus anti-clockwise another anti-clockwise force is there so that moment is there it's a f3 f3 times d3 is equal to moment at a clockwise means f2 times d2 getting it so we have to just balance a balance of anti-clockwise moment and clockwise moment this is the this is the principle of movement right okay so next part uh, we'll we'll go through one example okay so this is question from your past year paper for theory extended october november 2019 we'll straight away move to the question question number two so here take the two condition which must be true for an object to be in the equilibrium so an object will be in the equilibrium we have just discussed a all forces must be balanced right 
so forces are balanced uh, first thing forces are balanced uh, balanced uh, clockwise movement is equal to anti clockwise movement clockwise movement is equal to anti clockwise movement is equal to anti clockwise movement right so this is condition number 2 now we'll straight away go to the question if the the question b says that uniform meter uh, uh, rule pq is in equilibrium so this is rule pq p is here q is here so distance of pq is given 100 centimeter the mass of uh, meter rule is 0.12 kg and its weight is w okay. so here the mass actually act at a center right so it will be downward mass meter rule 0.2 kg and its weight is w so question one says that draw and label an arrow to show the force w acting on pq at the center of mass means as i told the mass act at the center of this rule right so here it will act w w means nothing but just a mass mass is equal to sorry w weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity so mass here 0.212 mass is 0.12 times 10 acceleration due to gravity so it will be 1.2 newton w right this part is done arrow arrow to show the force r acting on pq pivot so th this is a pivot right and here the r will act upward okay upward side because r is pivot supports the whole system so that is how we have to show this r now next nextly what it says the taking the moment about the pivot calculate the f so as i told you earlier moment uh, clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment right so we have to take the all the forces and even distance from the pivot so perpendicular distance for the f it will be 90 why because 100 minus 10 is 90 centimeter we have already the question itself so here p of 5.5 newton is 10 centimeter distance so moment anti-clockwise movement is equal to clockwise movement again we will apply here anti-clockwise movement u times 10 plus f times 90 is equal to w right? w times 30 okay so just uh, if you solve this whole equation, you will get directly F, so F will be equal to W is 1.2 times 40 minus 0.5 times 10 will be 5. Take it to the right hand side, it will be subtraction and divided by 90. And uh, use the calci to solve this equation, it will be 0.48 Newton. Okay, actually it's a point. 77777 and so if you round it you will get the 0.48 newton getting it so simply anti-clockwise movement is equal to clockwise movement and f is equal to 0.48 you will get it now calculate the r so r is the upward force at a pivot right you can see here r this is r right so our movement concept of movement says that all the forces are in, uh, are in balanced right so here upward force is equal to all the upward forces upward forces is equal to downward forces so upward forces which are the upward forces here r this r and f upward and 0.5 and 1.2 are the downward forces so just put out here r plus f, f we know the value of f is 0.8 equal to 0.5 plus 1.2 and here r will be equal to 0.5 plus 1.2 minus 0.48 and you will get the r which is equal to 1.22 newton okay so this is your answer that's it if you like this video 
share with your friend and uh, we have started revision classes for may june 2022 exam so if you want to connect with us you can contact me directly i have left the contact in the description box that's it bye bye take care